In this video, I'll be teaching you guys the best ICT silver bullet strategy that can help you pass your funded. Now, this silver bullet strategy is very, very straightforward, and I'll be giving you guys a mechanical approach to actually trading the ICT silver bullet. Now, I've sat through long, long ICT, three and a half, four and a hour long videos to actually understand these concepts, which I'll be breaking down in literally 10 minutes for you guys. And if you can't sit through this 10 minute video, I can guarantee that this career path is not for you and you're not fully committed to your education in which this can act, this one video will change your life. And I can guarantee that now jumping straight into the video. Firstly, what I'll be doing is creating a checklist for you guys, just so you guys can have a mechanical approach to this strategy. And then towards the end of the video, I'll actually be giving you guys a live example of an exact trade that we took today um, using this ICT silver bullet strategy. Now, Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, we need to understand what pairs does this strategy actually work on. So my favorite pairs are XAE USD, Euro USD, and GBP USD. Now this doesn't mean it can't work on any other pairs. I just personally haven't tested it, so I can't vouch. We need to understand what time frames are we going to be using. So we're going to be using the 15 minute and the five minute. Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be teaching you guys exactly what each time frame is going to be for later in this video. Now, what sessions are we going to be trading? London open kill zone. Now that is going to be from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And New York open kill zone, which is going to be from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, this time that I'm referring to is New York time. And so you can convert this to your local timing. Or if you want to be watching the charts from New York time and just Toggle the um, time zone of trading view to UTC minus four New York. I do this because ICT teaches in New York timing, so it's just much easier for me to do the exact same. Now, what concepts are we actually going to be using? This is going to be the checklist and in in uh, in order as well. So, firstly, we're going to be needing a liquidity sweep. Um, we're also going to be needing a market structure shift. We're then going to need an order block and fair value gap. In fact, what goes next is going to be OTE, ICT, OTE levels, and then order block and fair value gap. Okay. So those are the concepts that we're going to be using. Now, these are all reliant on each other. If we don't get the liquidity suite, we can't have the market structure shift. If we don't get the market structure shift, we can't have the OTE Fibonacci levels. Without the OTE Fibonacci levels, we can't have the order block and fair value gap. So I'll explain further into that in a second. And I'm pretty sure I think everything is laid out for you. Okay. So step one with this strategy, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just delineate your session that you'll be trading, whether that's London Open Kill Zone or New York Open Kill Zone. Now, I always say if you win a trade in London Open Kill Zone, do not go on to trade in New York. Preserve your capital. Just take the win for the day and come again the next day. So, for example, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. For example, this is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., right? So we're going to mark those out. Now, prior to um, your session starting, you're gonna let price do whatever it wants, okay? Whether that's going sideways, upwards, downwards, you're going to let price do exactly what it wants. Now, when it comes to your session starting, right? You need to understand, this is what you're gonna do firstly. On the 15 minute time frame, you're gonna mark out your liquidity areas. Now, what is liquidity? Um, in simple terms, can be session highs and lows, previous day highs and lows, previous week highs and lows, or just significant highs and lows. So for example, this high here, we have our buy side liquidity and then you want to mark out your sell side liquidity here like so. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to mark that out as liquidity. Now, once you have your sell side and your buy side liquidity marked out, what you're going to want to do is just let price do its thing when it comes into your session and simply wait for a sweep of liquidity like so now a little bit of theory if your sell side liquidity gets taken you look for buyers why because there's buy stops under there if your buy side liquidity gets taken you look for sales why because above that it's going to be sell stops very very simple so here sell side liquidity got taken so we are looking for buyers now we've had our liquidity sweep we want to jump into the five minute time frame okay guys Jumping into the five minute time frame, what are you anticipating? You're going to be anticipating a market structure shift like so. So as you can see, we've had this market structure shift. We then want to get out our OTE Fibonacci 
levels. So you want to open up your Fibonacci retracement tool. Now, these are the levels that you're going to want to have on there. Okay. So these are the settings that you're going to have. <coughs> these settings here. Now, what is OTE? Uh, OTE is just going to give us a very precise entry. The two, the three IC, uh, ICT OT levels is 61.8, 71, and 78.6. These three levels here are going to be our execution um, areas. So what you're going to do is grab that out from the low to the recent high in the market structure shift. You're going to mark that out. Now, OT levels, remember 61, 71, and 78. Those two are your execution um uh, your actual execution um, levels. So what you want to go ahead and do is just see if there's a fair value gap or an order block or anything within here. Mark that out and that is where you wait for a retracement into. You then patiently wait. This is where patience comes in. Let price retrace into your OT levels and then you enter um, targeting opposing liquidity. And that is how simple this strategy is, guys. So clean, very, very straightforward. I'm going to be showing you guys a live example in just a second. But hopefully this uh, makes a lot of sense to you guys. Uh, back test it, forward test it. And I can guarantee you, not only does this give you such a precise entry because of the OTE, the risk to reward on this is absolutely amazing. And if you apply this to your funded uh, challenge, where you're going two, three months trying to pass a challenge, this will reduce it to literally two to three weeks. Um, so I'm going to jump into a um, live example. Now, before I do, I want to explain that we have a free telegram in the link below. We have a free trading bot. Now, this trading bot trades absolutely hands free for you. It passes FTMO accounts. It runs on uh, personal accounts. Um, everything is done totally hands free. We've got so many results. We haven't had a single losing day in eight months, which is absolutely crazy. Um, full transparency is shown in our telegram. If you do want to do you want to join it the link is going to be in the description below so again it does pass tons and tons of ftmo accounts as you can see on the screen right now uh we've got so many testimonials but um yeah do join that and uh, let's jump into the live example of the video live example part of the video now as you can see these colors on my screen this just marks out my um kill zone sessions um from 2 a.m to 5 a.m i don't know why it's not showing the time but it marks out london open kill zone and new york open kill zone if you do want to use it it is called kz boxes uh by david um so yeah uh, quite useful actually so in this example i'll be trading the um, new york open kill zone so first things first what we want to do uh, this is obviously the London open kills and that we're not going to be trading first things we need to mark our liquidity area So not only do we have this session low here um, Significant low we also have this London low here, which is going to be our area our sell side liquidity And then we'll potentially mark out this sort of higher here for our buy side liquidity So once we mark them out just want to quickly take them now, uh, you're probably thinking, why am I not using this high here? It's not really a significant high. It's sort of in the internal range. We want to be using the external. So that's that done. Uh, all we've got to do now is just wait for our session to start. Now, also notice sometimes you might get the sweep just before the session begins, which is absolutely fine as well. Um, as you can see, just just literally uh, 15 minutes prior to our session starting, we got the sweep of this London session low, which is absolutely fine. Not only did we sweep that, we also swept this significant low here, which is in the external range. That is just telltale signs that liquidity is now being taken. You do that in the 15 and then you want to drop into the five minute. Um, as you can see, I'm doing this example with gold because I just love trading gold personally. Um, now, all you've got to wait for now is a market structure shift. So as you can see, we've had a market structure shift this high here. We have shifted through. So now we get out our Fibonacci tool from the low to the high. Now make sure this is the high. Um, how do you know if that's anchored high? The candle previous to it is below and the candle after it should be below as well so as you can see so that will be the anchor low now do we get a retracement into ot i want you i want to guys i want you guys really to notice this and so you teach you this side so do we get a retracement into ot no so that simply means we um no longer use this now we have another market structure shift done here so let's wait for our anchored high to be made as you can see we had an anchored high we want to do is mark out that low and that high now do we get a retracement into ote we just missed the ote level so again um that was inside an order block we um wouldn't have taken that obviously because we didn't get a tap into our ote levels so 
Um, and then again, we also have another market structure shift. We want to draw our higher to our anchored low in the most recent market shift is very important. Um, obviously, so we just want to, this is the anchored high here. We now see within our OT, we also have this fair value gap um, within here. And not only that, we also have an order block here. This whole thing is an order block here, right? So as soon as we tap into our order block, as you can see here, we look for an entry. I personally entered here. Um, I can show you that in just a second. Um, as you can see here, I did take this entry, um, the exact same setup shown on the screen right now. Um, then you want your stop loss to either be um, just below the sort of order block or this swing low. So you can just have it at that swing low, which I actually had it at. Then obviously you want to target um, the high. Obviously, I think I actually entered at the 78.6 level, to be honest with you. Let me have a look. Yeah, I entered at the 78.6 level. Um, so I had an even better entry just because I really, I wanted to use the order block instead of the fair value gap. Me personally, I love order blocks. I don't use fair value gaps. Um, that's just a personal preference, of course, just whatever works for you. Um, yeah, so you have your stop at the low, target in the high, obviously, uh, for a one to three withdrawal ratio. And then once you've entered, make sure the order block or fair value gap, order block ticked off, everything ticked off. Now all you gotta do is just wait for the um, trade to play out. As you can see, one to three absolutely smashed um great great way of trading I ict silver bullet for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video take this away forward test it back test it and i can guarantee you guys success with this strategy i remember guys do not forget to join our telegram in the link below we have a trading bot which trades absolutely free uh, sorry absolutely for you hands free we've got clients making absurd amount of profits as you can see here um so do join that in the link below again uh i can show you just a few more results some of the member reviews um like such never seen a bot be so consistent it's been three years of me in the industry of it's the first time experience i found something that really works so guys do join that telegram in the link below you guys can see everything for absolutely free